uh, weight loss drugs like Ozempic have spiked in popularity, but it's important to recognize whether it's actually meant for you before taking it. About one in eight adults have taken Ozempic or similar medications used to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity. Obesity is certainly a serious problem in the U.S. It impacts more than two in five adults. South Carolina is one of several states in the country with an obesity rate above 35%. Obesity puts people at higher risk than for other chronic diseases. Medications referred to as GLP-1 drugs have been available for nearly 20 years and they're used to treat diabetes. Well, now they're helping people lose weight, but how? One of the ways these medications work is by essentially slowing down your digestion. So that allows you to absorb your energy better as opposed to just shoveling calories in. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says when starting the drug, patients can experience side effects like nausea and abdominal pain. Other but rare risks include stomach paralysis and pancreatitis. Now he says in most cases, the benefits outweigh the risks for patients. Well, let's go one step further here tonight. Anyone wanting to lose weight can't just request drugs like Ozempic. You have to qualify. Uh, take a look here. You have to have a body mass index of 30 or higher or if your BMI is at least 27, and you have at least one weight-related health condition like high blood pressure. Now, the good news is anyone taking the drug usually stops after 12 weeks. Dr. Gupta says this isn't just due to the cost. For a significant percentage of people, it just stops working for them as well. Whether it's a tolerance or something else, they just don't seem to, to get the benefit of it. Of course, it's important to know drugs like Ozempic aren't just a magic bullet to keep the weight off. You must also incorporate diet and exercise into your life. Coming up next here on On Your Side Tonight.